still got some. Mm. The green sort of pieces are a bit of a mess. So we've got gas to make. We can see it. Can you see it? Can I So the red is the target we want to look at. And then the blue and the bears, it's moving now. Is what it's looking at. Oh, it's at the sea star. Is that what your space is? And there's a ring in there. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Basically, if it needs to, okay. we can put it on and off. It's taken it out because it's doing Auto focus completed. Is that really? Okay, yeah, that's happy. <laughs> now, actually, it centres the brightest part, and M42 is off to one side, so I just. Got a bit of an Andromeda going on there. Yeah. Let's move that over a bit. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks good, looks good. I like some of the cool that's a two inch eyepiece as well, isn't it? So that's it is, quite yeah. a big one, yeah. Uh, it's, not a, it's not fantastic. I'm learning, I'm getting there, I'll, I'll, I'll get there. It's not a particularly good one. I mean, I, I haven't, right. I've only got two. There you go. Yeah, but I just find it, you know. Yeah, but. I mean, Orion, for example, you see a fuzzy blogger, right? You, you turn it on, right? I, I think Orion is stunning, you know, the detail you can see in quite yeah, small yeah. scopes. Andromeda, I'm going to say it's a difference to me, like my refractor. 4 inch refractor on a run of that, or even Dave's 6 guy stuff, and I don't regret it for me, and I like the stability of this ridiculous, you know, over the top mount. Really. No, well, I, I, I love I, the stability compared to my other telescopes yeah. I've ever owned. Because I have to put one of those on an equatorial mount, and it's a pain in the arse. Yeah, yeah. But this is go. a great that's lump, a, That's you know? on Orion now, so that's tracking Orion. Let's get rid of that view. But the, the, the dual band isn't, the infrared's on, it's on pass at the moment. So. Hmm. And have you have you got a dew heater on there as well? No, no, right, there's okay. no dew. It's just acclimatised basically naturally. Yeah. Which if you, if you have it outside long enough, it does. Sure. It's in the boot of the car. So if I just turn up the shutter a bit, and drum is quite that, that's sorry, um, that's quite a bright target though, so if I go each second. But yeah, it's probably oh, it's moved slightly there. Is it going to track in? And what's the what is the battery? Is it yeah, the charge? Yes. <laughs> I've seen three and you haven't Apparently seen one. Been three. Yeah. <laughs> the, the problem I had when I switched the Sea Star off was it said, you know, connect to Sea Stars, and I could see three Sea Stars. Oh, and I, I, had oh. to look, I had to look at what my serial number was so I connected to the right one. <laughs> we might have a look at this sketch. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I'm off to the States in April for the eclipse. Oh, yeah. Well, Mexico, I'm going. Who knows? So I was thinking about taking the sea star. Well, you've got the filter, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but I need to use a different solar filter because the, the sea star one, it's quite fiddly to fit it. 